Hello folks and welcome back to Core Farm. Here we are, we've got some TMR feed for the cows here at Core Farm. And yeah, we have skipped the head time a little bit. We'll skip into January very shortly, but yeah, one thing we need to do first of all was top up our cow because they've run out of food. Or well, almost run out of food. So we've gave some hay to the cows at Stonebridge Farm. And also in the last episode I mentioned about doing the cookies and that. And if we you know what, just heck it, just for a laugh and that. Let's see how much money we can get from it. So what I've done was I spent ooh, three, four, five hundred grand on pallets of raisins. Oh, I think it was some more eggs, I can't remember, even though I'm recording this this year a couple of hours after recording the last episode and I can't remember exactly how much I bought or what I bought but yeah so things like eggs and that transport some flour over from the flour mill speak of which the wheat has run out and also most likely you can tell by the title and the thumbnail we are done mucking around we're going to be sending off some of the Equipment we no longer need at the farm, so we've got a few of them at the dealership ready. And yeah, so give the cows their food here, so hopefully that is, yeah, that's most of their feed satisfied. Also, we've got 60,000 litres of slurry here, and notice we've got another 40,000 litres at Steenbridge Farm, so lovely. So that is emptied. We'll top this up later on, but for now they are happy. And yep, yeah, so obviously we've got tons of Surrey, tons of manure. So that means, yeah, I thought our fields could do with fertilizing. So if we have a look. Look at the fertilizing. So most of them require fertilizer. Oh, you haven't drilled some fields because we've got hay, not a lot of hay, um, so you just work to do. And I'm thinking, like the 4691, that use cluster fields up here, so all of these fields here, and this one, yeah, ooh, that will need some double application, so we'll use a slurry for that. Can you do double application with manure? I'm not sure, but... So yeah, all of this... I going to get... mowed up, and... Yeah, I'm thinking... planting cotton... on some of the fields, and then doing... fill beans for... like, fill beans for this section. Cotton for up here, cause a good old chunk field there. And yeah, there's no other fields. Well, it's field 5, that's grass. Where else should we is it? I think 5, no, that's no, that is grass, so... That could be... Sorghum? Could do sorghum now. Get a bit of cheeky sorghum flour going. Because we've got a lot of green going. So you've got 3 wheat fields, 2 barley fields, 5 oat fields, because I thought, oh yes, do cookies, but at the end of it... I bought, yeah, I was there, about 100,000 years of oats for a cheap price of 40 grand. I've got rye, rye, and rye. So, obviously, we're going to be starting wrap up this series soon. I'm not going to end it just abruptly now. I said, well, there's things I want to do, like, we've come so far with this, and one of the things I want to do is make this farm self-sufficient, like we've got bits on the way as well, I just noticed, but oof. Oh, that's gonna be a problem with feet. Yeah. The wheels are on the left a bit, so got to be careful turning right. But yeah, I think it's things like I want to leave this farm self-sufficient. I talked about producing our own diesel, producing our own fertilizers and that. And I'm not all about using like the farm factory now by Umatana. There's the Midwest production, and I think that's by is it Schultz Modding? He produces those. Oh yeah, and there's mods as well. 
that lets you produce uh, seeds and fertilizer and all that. So, I think, yeah, in terms of the amount of episodes we've got left, I think we're on 66. So, I'll say around 75. I'll say, yeah, around about 70, episode 75, we'll be wrapping up. But, yeah, let's take this to the dealership and start selling most of our equipment. And there we go, we're at the dealership, and yes, we've got a lot of stuff to sell, and we'll do tip over completely, please. Yeah, we're going to be not selling these tractors, we're still going to keep them. The trailer we're going to sell, because we got a lot of cookies, and I'll show you those tomorrow. So for now, what in the hell has happened here? Like, why is that all tipped over and... Eh? What's going on here? I took this all over neatly. Yes, there's a bit of a squeeze. Ah, wait a minute. Ah, that's probably why it's the bloody shutters that shut at. Oh, well, anyways, we've got a lot of stuff to sell. So repair, and we're going to repair. So after three attempts, we sold all of our equipment, and that is 1.3 mil we got. And yeah, the reason why it's the third attempt is because we had game crashes. As soon as I go going to the sell point, as I'm flicking through the menus, you know, service and repair everything, I thought, yeah, sell everything at once, but yeah, for some reason, kept on having game crashes. And again, that's the one thing that's really been arguing me since. Man, like early on in this series, and also what I've gone done is I've sold our camping sites because if we look at our finances, there we go. Trust with property income, we're only getting four grand a month in summer, and in the winter we're looking at two grand. So yeah, yeah, it's all <laughs> simply ain't needed. Also, whilst we was down here, we did do a bit of a cheeky repair. So let's go and... I'm not sure what the heck it is. Let's repaint. We got, we got the money. Let's, let's go and repaint, but... That's the thing with Farm Simulator 20. That's one thing that has been weird is the... Ex yeah, the ex exorbitant amount of cost for repainting. I'm sure what the heck is, repaint the John Deere as well. There we go, 27 grand to repaint it. So yeah, overall, not too bad. And actually, whilst we're down here, I can't be bothered to go back to the farm, because it's going to be a while before we go back to the farm. And <laughs> just look at everything in the used market. And funny enough, at the same time we're selling our D-Wolf, Another one pops up for cheap. But yeah, so all these, those are what was there initially. And all of these is our stuff, so things like the mulching roller and that. I'm not worried about mulching and rolling, so. And yes, we'll get a deficit in terms with yieldage. But again, it's the final harvest, so I'm not too worried about that. Because yeah, with our money. Actually, you know what, let's do it now. We're going to be purchasing this plot of land. And also, we need a muck spreader and a slurry tank. So, as we haven't really done slurry too much. Yeah, I'm just looking at some of these bigger ones for 2,000 litres. Well, I'm going to use one of these modern ones, and I think these are the ones by 4D modding. Yeah, I think these two are. I'm not sure about the Surrey barrel, so... Again, just looking at everything. That requires a boom, fair enough. We get eight and a half meters, 23,000 litres, basically. Or six... Oof. I'm tempted to go with that. Whoa. There is a lot of options here. I 
guessing it's just basically on reason and that. Oh yeah, I can tell this one's by 4D modding. Oh, I actually crack stuff if it turns out I'm wrong. Autofill. Yeah, we do have a variety of options as well. But I think I know what I'm gonna go with this one here. It's, it's simple, yep. You know what? Screw it, let's keep the red, so we'll purchase it. Ah, we need a manure spreader. And somewhere I've installed a mod, so unless you thought about using one by oh, the premium expansion, but it's a little bit less capacity, a little bit less working with compared to this, the Brewcart EV2270. Set up, I uh, want to keep it as standard with counting the tires because we're gonna, I know we're gonna have issues with clearance. And what is design color changing? What changes that? So, jet black for that, and rims, jet black. So, we've got those. Also, I'm going to be borrowing because I just remembered we need to sell all of our <laughs> all of our silage and so yep yeah, gone these that yep I can go with conveyor options and that and that's be something once we get to Iowa and that because yep yeah, I've got some ideas for me with Iowa being sort of a a good storytelling aspect series and also a bit of a realism series and because we've got so much silage to deal with, I think in the realms of 3 million liters, I am just going to be cheeky. Yeah, you may hate this and that, but uh, that's one of these things. So, yep, yeah, that and that. And for the design color, a good black. Black or chrome. Chrome black, that will work. Ah, uh, where's that? It's chrome black too. Oh, didn't mean to purchase that. Because, yeah, we've got silage filled at the main farm. So if I head to the farm, head somewhere else if I can. So yeah, if we have a look, we've got two bunker size fills and yep technically the best price is February so open the help menu that's 200,000 liters that is 400,000 liters so 600,000 liters and we head over to our root crop storage we've got this big pile here and I think that is one and a half mil Basically, yep, so over 2 million years. So, yeah, we need to get the silage sold. We got an option to mow and wrap our silage. We'll do that in January at some point. Whether or not it's in this episode or between episodes, I'm not sure, but we'll figure that out. And then, yep, yeah, we'll need to get the muck spray sorted. So, yep, yeah. let's skip to January. I'll see you folks tomorrow, get some rest. And it's going to be a cracking day as. <sighs> yeah, just at the sunset. Absolutely beautiful. Oxygen David's done an awesome work on this map, and I know the lighting, lighting is by Bud Bill. Cracking modders, and. Uh, got this to deal with as well, haven't we? But yeah, get some rest, and I'll deal with all that tomorrow. And here we are, it is a frosty morning in January. And yeah, we got snow and it has settled and I think it's actually is it the first time I may have experienced this with the new lighting. Regardless, I think yeah Actually I am interested like how many years has it been on this map? Like Are we good is this our third year or fourth on the map? Also I don't know and that's the thing we have doing multiple days. Like, at one point we were doing like four day months, weren't we? So, yeah, that's definitely had an impact. And so far, so good. No king crashes. And I'm going to take a number one because we sold a lot of everything. 
hopefully we should be fine and actually we'll check on our animals oh lots of wool these people man overboard come on there we go there we go back on the tracks chickens are doing good cows are doing good we'll get yeah I think with Steambridge cows we will get them moved over so yeah these will get them moved over once they've run out of their feed rabbits ooh they need a little bit of hay and ooh, the chickens up north they need feed desperately ah poop yep we'll get that taken care of later on this should be fine for the time being close that and yeah so you've got two million years off silage to sell. Uh, where's a good place to sell silage at the moment? So, oh yeah, forest deer, of course. So we'll get over like 1.2 million, million. So, and yeah, I didn't expect things to get this unrealistic this quickly. Like, especially I've done the math with the cookie production, and you folks even know how much cookies we produce basically let's put it this way I bought 50,000 litres of raisins for example that costed what 125 grand or so and we've only used like 5,000 litres of it so also we've got snow on the farm actually I do wonder does this pick up snow oh yes it does We've got a snowplow. Oh, this is giving me some ideas of what I could do, not just here, but on future Let's Play series. Snowplow! So, yeah, we need to definitely clear up this area here. 17,000 litres of milk. Oh, I did not know we can do this. Because, yeah, I'm, like, I'm on Ravenport 22 at the moment. I'll be playing on Iowa Plains. I think that's also by... Ah, uh, Sabuki. Both of those maps got deep snow effect. And just, yeah, because imagine there's just all this we can have fun with. But, yeah, this will also clear up the pathway for the locals. And is there anyone here in snow still camping? Yeah, we've still got... Why? At least they're so tense up. We've got a couple of people breathing out in caravans. Oh, I did not realise we can do this. And yeah, we also get snow from the fields. And all the time I've played FS3 2, I did not know we can do this. Snow plowing! So what I'm going to do is, hopefully this doesn't bugger everything up, so I'm going to say, turn that off. Yeah, I am absolutely sorry folks, got absolutely sidetracked, <laughs> but anyway, let's stop the snow. There's only 50,000 litres, should be fine. Ooh, uh, that's fine. Got a snow mountain. But yeah, so we've got this for the silage work, yeah. Almost forgot what we was focused on, so yeah. Let's go and get the side sorted, so uh, yeah, perhaps I should have uncovered those, but uh, oh well. So yeah, we'll lower this. And yeah, we are collecting. All off the slightly so yeah, this shouldn't take us too long. A lot of it is just. Uh, I should say now, that uh, is 40,000 years of at the moment. And this is the smallest pit of the two, that big one's going to take some time, but yeah. It means let's go and get this done. I'm going to try to do a short time lapse if it works out well. And I'll bring folks back as we head to the forage deer ship and sell the remainder of our slightly <laughs> Thank you. 
So there we go, we got just under 2.1 billion litres. Yeah, it may have lost a little bit in the extraction, but for the most part of it, it is all completely fine. So, yep, yeah, we go and sell these, and yep, yeah, we get over 1.1, 1.2 million. But yeah, we're going to be putting a custom beach in, we're going to also be putting a diesel factory in to make our own diesel and provide diesel for the community. As well as putting our own sea production in. But yeah, like things like the sea production, I'll, we'll have to wait till after harvest, or as we start doing the harvest next August, because obviously I'm not going to purchase anything like that. Yes, I purchased stuff for the cookie factory, which I, in hindsight, regret. But yeah, let's see how much we'll get from this. Can we hit 4 million? Oh, yes we can, just about 4 million pounds and I think for the BJ stuff and that and all the other productions we're going to be putting in I think that's going to be around a million to a million and a half and yeah for the rest of our money that so that's going to be used for the future but now we need to how long have we got snow for? Is it all day? Yeah we've got snow all day in that so I don't want to be spreading the muck in snow now because when it falls out it's going to just melt, so it's going to melt and just spray all the slurry that away so yeah it looks like January is going to be a bust let's see what January 2 brings so right looks like January was a complete and utter bust why are you stopping? I'm trying to chat here, but yeah, so just even the deer ship, so we're gonna get started on muck spreading. Unfortunately with all the snow we have in we can't sell grass ISP price. Or should I say it's slightly to ISP price, but anyways, I thought we'd go into here because I've noticed our trees are starting to grow, so yeah, it was like six, eight months ago when we started planting these. Well, it was definitely early on last year, so it's around about summer, I think it was. Oh, there we go, I have a chainsaw, I was like, ooh, what's that? Oh, right, now just a bit of truth got to, to eat with us, but yeah, this is looking good, and that's one thing I was just talking about, yeah, early on series where we need some uh, what was it? Oh yeah, for wood chip pellets, I think it was. We needed wood chips, and overall, that is looking beautiful. We've replanted the forest. We put way more trees back in that we cut down, because that's the thing, when it comes to logging now, people say, oh, logging's bad for the environment. If it's done sustainably, as with everything, as with farming, as with agriculture in general, it can be sustainable, it can grow and flourish. Especially the thing, yeah, was it like with the paper and tree, I think it's like every one tree they cut down, I think it's like what, 10 or 20 or so they replant? For every tree they cut down. And yeah, little things like that. Obviously, it makes sense, like, oh, I saw. Quote some recently on one of our webs on I think it's like the US like forestry and agricultural service. Um no 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 it was like uh, I can't remember the name of the company, but it was like one of the US's or the United States' top paper companies like it doesn't make economical sense to cut down your resources for your materials and not have a single way of maintaining and growing that source so yeah, makes makes perfectly good sense. So yeah, like, struggling for words today, but anywho, back at the farm, and we are using the Massey. And yeah, I'm thinking if we're using the manure spread first of all, that would be the most easiest. And I'm just gonna turn up back off. Uh, where are you to? Go. Turn off our interactive markers. 
But yeah, also since we're in February, we can start on planting 88, because I did say that is one of the fields we're going to be planting. And alright, so let's generally move you that way. Because yeah, we've got a buck load of manure here. Like, we've been collecting this for what, over a year, about a year or so? Actually, I haven't cleaned out the pit recently, so... Yep, that's for manure as well. And just doing our check on our animals, so... I think, yeah, chickens are fed. Ooh, Stonebridge cows are out of hay. Can't have that, but yeah, they're 24 months old now, so we can sell those. So perhaps I'll do this in the next episode when we're replanting everything. And yeah, how's our court farm cows? Yep, yeah, sorry, we're at almost a limit of 80,000 litres. And yep, yeah, chickens overall are doing good. Sheep, oh, they are full, so. But yep, yeah, we'll take care of that later on. But for now, we need to focus on the muck spraying, so this will take two and a bit loads. There we go. And yeah, obviously what we're using to get this done with a teleander. Ooh, see is a bit... Oh, don't dump it in the fields. Yes, manure is not going to the fields, but not white like that, so that's one note. And yeah, to be fair, I don't know how far this is coming from that, so it's like in terms of yeah, how much but you know what? I'm going to give it a go. And yeah, worst case scenario, we need to put some ground leader for rose down or liquid for rose down then so be it. Hopefully not, because I've returned the solid fertilizer, and I've gone in. Oh, yeah, that's what I say about dumping on the ground. Oh no! Let's go into the freaking drainer. Oh, bear with me a sec. Well, anyway, that is that. So. Do we put down a double application? I don't think so, for the most part. So yes, yeah, so if you have a look, so all of our fields, apart from that, that, and that, yeah, all just need sim single application. Obviously, the grass fields are fine, so, yep, yeah, we don't need double application. And yeah, the grounds is a bit frosty. Checking the weather. Yep, minus one at the moment, so we're still in the frost, so I think technically we should wait a little bit longer, but I cannot wait that long, so there we go. Putting down the muck, so if we have a look at our PDA, we should be putting down an application of fertilizer. And that's thing with, yeah, because since the crop is already germinated, I can't tell where we've been and where we haven't been, so that's probably the downside of using something like this with like a muck spur net. But yeah, just look at that steam in your mm, musty. So far, so good. And yeah, in terms with how much we're using at the moment, the furnace is only being fed from what? 50 cows or so over a course of a year, so yeah, so I'll give it a go, see how many fields we can do. And then, if I had to guess, I'll say we'll get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Maybe six holes done, so that's half of it. Almost. But, uh, anyways, the only way to find out is by continuing on mucking about. And just, yeah, 
like that. That is probably going to be the thumbnail of the episode. Just a beautiful sun rise. Yes, for some rise of sunset. And uh, yeah, just taking the views, taking the scenery. And hopefully I'm not going over too much. Oh uh, yeah, looks like I am. Probably just about tell the difference in the ground texture in the ground, but yeah, if we turn it off. So yeah, that's where we've mucked. That's where we haven't mucked, so if we look at where we've already mugged. So yeah, yeah, haven't done the roll in, but yeah, still a 98% your bonus. So yeah, I'll get the work on this. Short now, I'll do it myself. I do. I say I don't trust the workers, but first I don't trust myself. I just yeah, we're using way too much in terms with having it given a perfect even application, so I think what's the best thing to do is like go into a normal field, like fifty seven or fifty three. And just get going straight across like that. But anyways, let's get the rest of this mug done and see how far we can manage before we run out of all the manure and slurry. Are done with the mug spreading. That cost us a bit more than I would like because we had to buy some more manure. I should say, sorry, more slurry of us. So yeah, that is done. We did use some granular fertilizer, some solid fertilizer for some parts. But if we have a look at our fertilizing state, so like this patch here, even when I put a double application down. Yeah, absolute nothing. But for the most part, everything's done. Yes, a couple of patches here and there. But yeah, for the most part, we are good. So, actually, whilst I was doing time maps, I was thinking, what can we do with spending our money? And I'm thinking, where is it to? 
We could buy plot 72. And what is plot 72? That is the castle. So it's going to have a little look. And there it is. So we've got the drone out. And yeah, I'm thinking, what, what a better way to spend 10 million pounds on a castle. Yeah, it's got a nice little courtyard now. It's got some good towers. Let's try to make ourselves like a little second home out of this. Or more realistically, claim it off as a business expenditure and a bit of a tax evasion, you know? Hey, there's a reason why the property market is good for tax evasion. <laughs> oh god, that hurt. That actually hit really hard, that did. <laughs> Well, it's anyway, it's a bit more of a positive note, so we need another 5 mil. And we'll get that from our delicious cookies. So, as a reminder, we spent about 500 grand on produce to put into here. So yeah, we want to make a variety of cookies which required everything. Also, you run out of oats because I accidentally converted that into flour. But, for the most part, we got 136,000 years of flour, 62,000 years of butter, 13,000 years of eggs we recently transferred over from our wire chicken coops, sugar, 170,000 years, a bit of chocolate, no oats, raisins we purchased 50,000 years, and to be honest, it doesn't really need much more now. Like, yeah, we sell the raisins because we ain't doing more oatmeal raisin cookies, so they can be sold. And just, yeah, like, actually, do we have milk in there still? A little bit of milk left, so we'll keep the milk going. So I'm thinking, for the time being, we could do with producing chocolate. And yeah, that's, that's nothing. Obviously, we've been making a variety of cookies, so... So yeah, 7, 11,000 years off cookies, not too bad. However, if we go into our output, look at that, a variety pack of cookies, 198,000 litres. And we've got another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10 pallets here, and that is well over 200,000 there, so I'm going to purchase a cell point. So let's go and move this. So, because yes, we don't have a lot of money coming in, so let's grab one pallet. Technically, we missed the peak price, peak price was in like December and that, but still, for one pallet, we're getting 81,000 pounds. 81 grand for one pallet. We've got like 200 pallets here, so yes, I was tempted to set this to sell that. And yeah, tempted. But I don't want to lose that percentage cut and that, so what I do is I'll sell those. The sugar will keep for now because we need that. I'm going to let this run through. But yeah, so... Actually... I just want to lift this, so if I lift this... Okay, that does go into there, so... Gotta be careful of that. So yeah, actually, you know what? Let's go and grab a... Our teleander with a pallet fork, or... Actually, no, let's grab something like a big bag grab or something. Actually, is there anything I can auto load these? Let me have a look a sec. And the answer to that is no. They may just go and sell these. So this is 9,000 litres. So 720 grand. So, so far we've made 800 grand for what? 10 pallets? So yeah, let's go and you know, send those to store, so what I'm going to do now is go off a side thing, let this production run through, and hopefully we can 
hit our goal of 10 million pounds. So right, had a little bit of impatience there, so I've got being like 30 to 50 pounds old, but then we were just having issues with it spawning, so yeah, so I set it all to sell, so if we have a look at our production now, yeah, we've got using that to build the milk to get butter and trees and yeah, 4,000 litres left, so that should be one of our half an hour to an hour or so. Ooh, what's that? Ah, interesting. Uh, apologies there, yeah, I got a bit sidetracked, so I think, to be honest, that is where I will leave it for today. Yeah, I know we're getting to the point now where I instantly regret doing that whole cookie facility and that. So like, I thought, yeah, it'd be a good little thing. So yeah, with all the crops we're going to be growing, you know what? Screw it. We'll just collect it and sell it. And I'll figure out a crop to do this year. I'm thinking, rather than just do fill beans and cotton, I'm tempted to just to do cotton and that, to be honest. And uh, yeah, head on to do some contracts. So you've got 18 to the left, 103 up the north, and 43 to the far the right. And yeah, with 111, fills 111, that is our alfalfa. I didn't realise they regrow, which makes sense because it's like grass, but easily forgotten. So yeah, I'm absolutely loving how these trees are coming along. And yeah, also we've got tons of flower here, like. Yeah, we've just got a lot of stuff to sell now, so I think, yeah, the next episode, what we'll do is get the size work done, so that involves cutting all these grass fields here, cutting, I think this was a grass field down here, if I turn on grass, if I turn on grass, yeah, I've got a grass field there, and it's having a look, so yeah, it's these. Three, four, five, six fields, seven. So yeah, we'll get those cut and bailed. And then yeah, we'll start looking at getting our own BGA in. And things like adding the BGA network distributor. We'll put that down. Obviously, I'm not going to put the Cork Farm one down. Because yeah, that's only 250 kilowatts. We've got a industrial BGA, and yeah, as I was saying earlier on, it's going to go all the way up here. So where is the area tool? Yeah, this area here. So we've gone and purchased this land. It does need a bit of clearing out and that, but that's fine. Because yes, if I put it on a angle like that. So if I just get it up for visualization, so yeah, something like that. Or actually, you know what? Something like that'd be better. But yeah, I'll work that and get them all flattened out. And then I think you've got some. Yeah, so we've got some production facilities here, so we can make our own ethanol and diesel. So that can go there. And then lastly, as a contribution to the community, we can add something like this, a seed and fertilizer production down. And yeah, we'll just proper kit it out on that. And yes, it'll benefit us in the short term, but in the long term, it will also benefit the community. So that is where we're gonna leave it today. And as always, Hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to then please consider. But for you to do, hope you're nice stay. But for now, this is me from Envoy Stream, and I'll see you all very soon.